While serving his country in Afghanistan, tonight's Hux hero was seriously injured in a rocket attack eight years ago. His recovery consisted of months of physical therapy and a fusion surgery on his spine, but his spirit was unbroken. He went on to build one of the fastest growing companies in America, but even though he operates a for-profit business, he continues to serve by running his business for people first. Watch. In March of 2020, we all felt the impact of COVID and what took place. I had it on my heart to be a hands extended to my employees. That was the first thing. I wanted to make sure that those hourly employees knew for a fact that no matter what, I've got your back. And I paid everybody's mortgages or apartment payments for the month of April. A few weeks later, we created what's called the Give Back Collection and donated over $3.2 million to medical staff and first responders across the nation. Because even though we're in Huntsville, Alabama, we can make an impact across the entire country. Please welcome our Hucks hero, Colin Wayne. Colin, what a great story. It is a wonderful story. Eight years ago, injured seriously in war, did you think your life might just be over as you knew it? I really did. You know, I um, served this nation for nearly seven years. I volunteered for three combat tours, and mm. um, I always wanted to just be a hands extended and serve this nation no matter what capacity it was. And um, I think that near-death experience in Afghanistan when a rocket impacted about three and a half feet from me, mm. I knew through the grace of God that I survived for a reason. I didn't know what that was. Um, and. You know, the, there's so many chapters that's just continued to develop. And now owning my company, Redline Steel, being a hands extended to so many first responders, medical staff, it's, it's, it's heartfelt. Like, I, I feel like I can operate in, um, if, it, from a place of integrity, and it feels just the right thing to do. Colin, you, you must have had a moment at which this vision of a company came to you. Mm. Was it while you were recovering that you had this idea, I think I can start a business. So I actually wanted to get a piece for my son. It was a steel monogram, mm. a baseball player. He was yeah. swinging a bat just like this. And uh, I reached out to a local company and was actually going to uh, just buy a sign. And that's how it started. Um, transitioned into consulting. And then I actually wanted to partner with them. And the day we were supposed to sign, he ended up backing out. And so I started the company with zero experience in manufacturing. And um, I kind of took that as a challenge. What's, what's been the key to this entrepreneurial success of yours? So I think uh, it's, it's, it's true faith, a belief that this can be, so my vision is that this will be a billion dollar company. And mm. I believe that wholeheartedly. I started in 5,000 square feet without any experience manufacturing and just continued to scale. Within two and a half years, we were in 110,000 square feet. And, to date, we've shipped over five million products. Five million products. By the way, they're beautiful products. Uh, you were showing me one backstage. It's a gorgeous, uh, just steel American flag, and it can go indoors, outdoors. It, I mean, it'll last forever. It, this is not a, a piece of cheap art. This is very beautiful stuff. So how many different products do you have in your line altogether? So we have all kind of different apparel, from apparel to steel. Uh, we used to do candles, um, but all kind of different things. You know, people, are, they're running out of wall art space. We have an incredible, um, we call it an Ascension model, but customers that have ordered, and they're, they're true, uh, we call them elite members. And we created that, and we actually send them uh, $150 worth of product for free, uh, just because mm. they've, they've supported my business, my brand, and I want to give back to them. And Colin, you know, I think it's fascinating. You're, you're not just a guy that's out there making money. You're, you know, you're, your company's doing great. It's a multi-million dollar company. But you've started several nonprofit charitable foundations. You're giving as much money away as you're making. So what motivates you to say, okay, making money is great, but giving it away is even better? You know, I'm so fortunate that I don't have a board of advisors that just looks hmm. at the bottom line. 
I truly believe that when you can operate from that place of integrity, the universe and God will respond. Yeah. And he'll give it back times 10. And he's blessed me with three beautiful children. Well, he has blessed three great children. But, you know, I just want you to understand how grateful I am. Mm -hmm. The reason we wanted to honor you as a Hux hero is because your story is the American story. You, you, you served this country. You were injured for the rest of us to keep us free. You come home. It could have gone south on you, but you looked to God and you looked within yourself and said, I'm not finished. And man, oh man, have you ever affirmed the American dream of starting something from nothing and creating a multi-million dollar job, employing hundreds of people, and then starting charitable foundations that continues to help. Colin, Wayne, thank you. Thank We're you. honored to honor you tonight. Now to find out more about Colin Wayne and his nonprofit endeavors, follow him on social media. And you can find his podcast called Project Redline. Also merchandise, marketing tips, and a whole lot more on his website, redlinesteel.com.